This video will give you an overview on how to set up your eSync adapter with your tablet or smartphone. Lava's eSync adapters provide simultaneous charging and data to compatible USB-C devices. The eSync line is Lava's flagship line of enterprise adapters. The Lava Tablet Manager or LTM app must be installed on the mobile device for some of its advanced features to work properly. LTM is available both through the Google Play Store and through the Lava Software Release Package, which is available via a direct link. Please see our related videos on how to install LTM on each of these platforms. Step 1. Applying Power eSync adapters come in three different power options. 5 volt DC power adapters, power over Ethernet adapters, and voltage converter adapters, which are capable of taking a DC power input of between 9 and 36 volts. 5 volt DC power adapter. If you're using a 5 volt adapter, then the eSync can be powered using a 5 volt USB-C power supply and plugging into the port labeled USB-C power adapter. Any power supply capable of providing 5 volts and 2 amps can be used, but it is recommended to use the power supply and cable provided with your mobile device. Using a standard 5 volt power supply allows you to place the adapter up to 5 feet or 1.5 meters from the power source. If you're using a 5 volt DC power supply, proceed to step 2. PoE. If you have a power over Ethernet or PoE adapter, then the Ethernet port can be used to receive both power and network data over a standard Ethernet cable by plugging the adapter into a PoE capable network switch or PoE injector. PoE provides a distance advantage. Using PoE, the adapter can be installed up to 328 feet or 100 meters from a PoE capable switch or injector, giving more options for placement of the mobile device. While used primarily for testing, eSync PoE adapters also have a micro USB AUX 5 volt input that can be used for power if PoE isn't available. However, do not use PoE and the AUX 5 volt input port at the same time, as this will cause a conflict. If you are using PoE, proceed to step 2. Voltage Converter Adapters If you are using an adapter equipped with a voltage converter, or VC for short, then a 12 watt or better DC power supply with a center positive pin barrel jack connector can be used. Connected to the port marked 9 to 36 VDC in. VC adapters are capable of taking a power input of between 9 and 36 volts. The adapter will step down the voltage to 5 volts for use with a connected mobile device. When used with a proper power supply, VC adapters can also be connected directly into 12 and 24 volt electrical systems, making them a great fit for a vehicle or boat. Lava's VC adapters can be installed up to 50 feet or 15 meters from the AC power source providing more options on where to place the mobile device. While used primarily for testing, some eSync VC adapters come with a USB-C AUX 5V input that can also be used for power. However, do not use the 9 to 36 VDC in and AUX 5V input port at the same time, as this will cause a conflict. Finally, when connecting a VC adapter to any power supply, Always ensure the wiring is such that the center pin is positive. If the polarity is reversed, the adapter will be damaged immediately. Using the wrong input voltage and or polarity violates Lava's manufacturing warranty. Now, proceed to step two. Step two, powering the unit. Once the eSync adapter is powered on, the yellow charge status LED will start blinking, indicating that the unit is receiving power. Step three. Connecting a mobile device. Plug one end of the USB-C to USB-C cable into the mobile device's USB-C port and the other end into the eSync port marked mobile device. In order for a link to be established between the eSync and mobile device, you must only use a USB-C to USB-C cable that is capable of supporting both charge and data. This cable is usually around 3.3 feet or 1 meter it is not recommended to use a longer cable. Step four, opening LTM. Once the Lava product is powered and connected to your mobile device, you will receive a pop-up message asking you to open LTM because USB is connected. 
The dialog box will include a radio button that will let the mobile device open the LTM app automatically when a connection is present. Click OK and LTM will open. If you don't choose the Always Open LTM selection, the pop-up will appear each time you connect the mobile device to the adapter. We strongly recommend you select Always Open LTM to prevent LTM from interfering with your primary application during standard unit operation. Step 5. Confirming Communication When connected, the green device link LED will also turn on, indicating that a mobile device has been detected and a connection has been established. To verify that LTM has detected the hardware connection, consult the status window on the LTM app home screen. Before you connect the eSync adapter, it will say controller not detected. Controller detected means the app has found the adapter. The app then indicates what time the controller ran. This time will update roughly every 30 seconds. Step 6. Connecting peripherals. If your adapter has USB-A ports, you can now connect the peripherals to your setup. If it has an Ethernet port, you can connect a wired network connection. For more information on how to configure Ethernet on your mobile device, see our related video. Lava's eSync adapters feature battery modulation, which puts the mobile device through a series of charging and discharging cycles to keep its battery at optimum health. The LTM status window will indicate whether the device is in a charging phase or a discharging phase. The yellow LED also reflects its charging state. Once connected to a mobile device, the yellow LED will start to blink at intervals. If the LED is illuminated most of the time, but turns off for brief intervals, the mobile device is charging. If the LED is mostly off, but occasionally turns on, then the device is discharging. The eSync adapter's LEDs can also communicate errors if the adapter isn't working properly. Please see the related blog listed in the YouTube description below. Now, you should have the eSync adapter set up and working properly. If you encounter any issues with your product, feel free to reach out to us.